So people who do a good job of uh, at managing their emotions know that it's healthy to express their feelings, but that it also matters how and when they express them. Associate psychologist and principal therapist at Tea House Therapy Group Practice, Sonia Winter, is here to help us understand more about this. Miss Sons, morning, welcome to Smiles. How are you? Morning. I'm always happy to see you, Neville. Hi, Delia. Hi. Good morning. Um, you know, my brother told me many, many moons ago that the control of emotion is the foundation of character. I've never forgotten that. But I also Absolutely. think that is easier said than done. Um, I suspect yeah. we are having this discussion um, because of what happened recently at the, the Oscars with Will Smith and, and Rick Rock. Some people say, all right, it's not something to do all the while. The man make a mistake. Loud the man and make a move on. Yeah or nay? <laughs> well, it will help him, I suppose, if he can forgive himself, but learn and move forward, for sure. You know, so I think how, how he repairs from this situation is important, not only in his own development, but in terms of the message he sends to other people and his family, etc. So you don't buy, by the way, I said Rick Rock, but it's Chris Rock. So you don't buy the idea that it's just a mistake. Uh, make we go on with our life and stop talking about this. You don't buy that. You think we should look at the, some of the reasons this could happen, should happen, or, or did happen? I, I, want to, I want to subscribe to both, please, Neville. You know, it is a mis hopefully, I mean, hopefully this doesn't align with his, his character, right. you know? Um, and if it doesn't, then it's a mistake that hopefully he can learn from. However, to the extent that he can... Um, you know, give us all an opportunity to prepare for these situations in future, you know, so that we all learn as well to learn how important it is to manage our emotions in situations where we get triggered in the way that Will was triggered, you know what I mean? And he, he didn't handle it in a way that aligns with his character, to use your brother's phrase. Right. And it's a, it's a, it's a lesson for him and for all of us, I believe. All right. And, uh, and I get opening the door for us to have this conversation. Yeah. But, you know, for... Right, because, I mean, outside of, of Will Smith, when we hear what's happening with our children in schools, uh, that's also them not being able to control their emotions. But, but, but how okay. do we do that, Sonia, against a backdrop of a, of a contemporary society that says, feel your emotions. It's okay to cry. It's okay to scream. It's okay to say, I don't like it. We see yes. on social media, emotions are at a high. I mean, yeah. how, how do you control emotions? Um, I think it's important to separate emotions from the expression of emotions. There's no point in trying to control your emotions, Delia, because emotions are important messengers. They're how we interact and understand the world. So they often say emotions are data, data for us to use to determine how we then respond. OK, so what we want to control is our response. We want to be able to respond to our emotions rather than just reacting with a knee jerk, habitual behavior, such as we saw in Will Smith. We want to be able to know how we're feeling, use that information effectively to weigh cost benefits and then respond to those emotions in a way. Again, I'm so glad that Neville raised the issue of character, respond to our emotions in a way that aligns with our character or the character that we're trying to grow into. All right, so you're my wife. Some, someone said something about you, you that, I, no, that I don't like, and it has something to do with maybe an illness that you had. How do I react? I just say, all right, I laugh, all right, and never mean it. How do I react? And, and if I'm going to say something to that person, what do I say? I think it, 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 what is important is what your values are, okay? Um, what is most important to me in that situation? Is it that my wife's feelings have been offended and I, I feel the need that to, to defend her in some way? And, by the way, may I say, I feel that she can't defend herself, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or is it important, is it important to me also that there is a sensitivity expressed to people who have her illness, and to, to her illness and to people who have her illness, what is important to me in that, in, that, in that moment will determine how I respond. So let's say Will was, was upset that they were making a joke about the fact that his wife was, had this illness. Right. Okay, Then I think a more, if that was the matter, if that was what was at issue for him, 
then he had a fantastic platform to express that when he accepted his his um award he could have said you know the matter of alopecia is not one to be to be taken lightly you know it affects people's lives and i just i want to use this opportunity to say so you know that that would have represented his character better it would have and defended whatever value he felt was at risk by chris rock's behavior right. so how you respond has a lot to do with what you see as your values in the moment G give me give me give me some tips then sonia on how mm -hmm. to control because okay. uh, hindsight is yes. great we can look at it now and say you know this is maybe what we should have done but 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 exactly. tell me but, but help us before we get there if something happens mm -hmm. what should i do sure okay i think the most important thing to control your to help you control your response to your emotions and to stressful situations where your fight or flight response is triggered is to think of it in two ways daily number one think about cultivating self-awareness now self-awareness is an ongoing process that you that you, you have throughout your life you know it's 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 about knowing what your triggers are. It's about knowing when you get triggered, knowing what are the telltale signs that you have been, your fight or flight has been triggered. And number three, it's about knowing what your values are, what you want to stand for in those stressful situations. So that's self-awareness. The second part of being able to, to manage your response is self-control, you know, and that's now you activate self-control in the actual moment you know, um, whereby number one, you notice and acknowledge you've been triggered. That's the first thing about self-control is, is, you know, activating the awareness that you'd have cultivated before and right. recognize what's happening. I'm, I'm now triggered. Okay. Number two, always pause. You know, it, it, it is, it's important to pause to assess so that you can objectively evaluate what's now happening. All right. In Will Smith's situation, an objective of evaluation that doesn't have any judgment in it would be him being able to connect with himself and say to himself, OK, he just insulted Jada. That's what's happening. It has triggered me. What am I going to do about it now? So that's an objective evaluation of, of what's happening. Yeah. OK, to help you know, um, how should I say, dampen down the fight or flight response that has been triggered, it's important to take really deep breaths because that all, all actually does slow down your heart rate and right. gives you a chance to do the effective cost-benefit analysis of my, what my response is going to be. All you right. know, what's the cost-benefit analysis of my response? And then you can then... Um, also, there's a lovely little thing you can do also, not only focusing on taking deep breaths and focusing on them, but sometimes even a little movement as well, believe it or not, like a little stretch, also <laughs> helps you come back into your body. We have to go, Sonia, we have to go. Great yeah, to that's see my you. favorite. It, 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 it is invite something... me back, invite yeah. me back great to so see that we but, can talk more. Great to see you, but it is something else that I took from it that I've said, and I do not condone what Will Smith do. Let me say that again, I do not not condone it, but I've never thought that this phrase about sticks and stones can break my bones, but words can harm me. I've always thought that was rubbish. I think words can harm. Um, and, words and, can harm, and we have to manage how we respond to that harm. Right. Good to see you. Blessings. God bless you. Look after yourself. Associate psychologist and principal therapist at Tea House Therapy Group practice, Sonia Winter. Still ahead. Go hard. Fashion showcases their designs, but the next uh, coming up next is the second edition of News in Five. Stay with us, please. So come. Life is too